Labas rytas, gerbimai susirinkusiai. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, speakers. Guests, TV viewers, this conference is directly broadcasted through the second channel of the Lithuanian television. We are starting our International Historical Conference, History and Memory, the Soviet Past, 1953-1990. The purpose of this conference is to introduce the newest developments, newest scientific research in the field of totalitarian regime crimes and victims, and together with the colleagues from other countries, to analyze how the Soviet communist regime has affected the occupied countries and their societies. This conference will mostly focus uh, on the period after Stalin's death that hasn't been investigated thoroughly so far and uh, which due to some misunderstanding uh, is valued differently or even positively sometimes trying to deny the existence of every possible crime against citizens I believe during these two days of the conference, historians will present a lot of interesting facts about this period. I would like to mention just one. Based on Eustace, uh, based on the document signed by Eustace Pelezkis in 1957, Deportees and political prisoners were prohibited from returning to Lithuania, and those who uh, disagreed to obey had additional punishment, five more years of imprisonment. So, due to this decision and other similar decisions, the percentage of Lithuanians in Gulag camps grew from 3.5% in 1953 to almost 29% in 1957. So this conference will listen to a lot of historians, journalists from Lithuania and other countries. We will discuss the regime of the crimes of the regime abuse, violations of human rights, the Soviet legacy after the formal collapse of the totalitarian regime. I hope we'll have an excellent opportunity to learn more about the experience of various countries. We'll have the possibility to discuss how we should strengthen the awareness of number of countries about totalitarian regimes and their crimes. It will promote comprehensive discussions about the causes and the results. And we will also discuss the issue how we should educate our younger generation so that the European political systems are protected from such radical ideologies and their influence. This conference is organized responding to the resolution of the SEMAS to proclaim this year as the year of losses and to uh, implement a sub-project of, of a European project, History and Memory. I would like to thank the SEMAS, especially Secretary General of the SEMAS for this possibility and cooperating with our partners in Czechia and Romania. We have, we have organized this event. This conference is partly financed from the program Europe for Citizens. 
the conference is uh, divided into different sections. We'll have three or four uh, speakers in each session, in each uh, sub part, and then we'll have a um, question, answer session, and discussion. Now I would like to start our first session of the conference entitled European Memory and Conscience. The speakers will mostly focus on the international assessment of the totalitarian regime crimes, proper recognition of victims, and uh, uncovering of perpetrators. And I have a great pleasure to invite our first speaker, member of the European Parliament, Professor Vidotas Landsbergis. It will be too difficult to mention all his titles, but what I would like to mention or remind you is that Professor Landsbergis was the leader of the reform movement Sayudis that led us to our liberation. He was the chairman of the Lithuanian Reconstituent Seimas, the Supreme Council. He was the head of the state at the time that was most difficult for Lithuania. And what I would like to add is that now working at the European Parliament, Mr. Landsberg contributes a lot together with his colleagues from other European countries to preserve the memory and so that uh, we'll have more memory and more conscience in Europe in general. The floor is yours. You may speak from your place of sitting or else you could use the place 